fuck. I'm fucking moving in, in 48 hours. I'm leaving my best friend and <sighs> You have no reason to not be a fabulous, money having, glamorous bitch. You have no reason not to attract high value. And I'm not talking about value and just money. Valuing the divine, okay? You have no reason not to attract divine men or if women, divine women into your life after fucking with me, okay? You have no reason not to be in tune with yourself and your own personal development fucking with me. But I mean, y'all be feeling like, oh, bitches be coming for me. Somebody stole my Eva. <laughs> like, stole my brand name. And I fuck my papa. So yeah, like, um, I think I have a boyfriend. Not sure if this is ghetto as fuck, but hey, bad bitch, welcome back to my channel. Okay, um, T minus 24 hours, sorry, I think, T minus 48 hours until I'm fucking leaving this bitch, and I'm so excited. Um, I am hungover right now, for sure, and felt like this was the best moment to do this video. Don't know what it's gonna be about, but... Just kind of want to catch you up to what's going on. The house is just almost empty. Only thing left is like my mattress pad, which I'm fucking laying on right now. Okay. Um, my bed and everything has been picked up. Everything has been sold completely at this point. I need to be like looking and purchasing my new bed for my new place. Um, all my bags are in the living room packed. The only thing left to pack is what's in the bathroom that I need. Um, because y'all know your girl's still going to do her shower routine up until she leaves. So, um... All that stuff is in the bathroom. It needs to be packed. But other than that, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. I don't know. Okay. Um. Last night was a full circle moment. A full circle moment. Oh, my God. It's a situation that y'all will find out about later at a later date because it involves other people and so i have to make sure they're cool with like you know it being known at this level but um yeah so th this this situation started in like 2021 and then it's full circle like it was like the first situation when i first moved to atlanta so it's back and it's like it shouldn't have never ended the first time, but it's back. So that's really all I can tell you all right now. But um, just know, like, it's 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 some shit. Like, I, oh my god, my life is crazy right now. Like business, love life, lifestyle. Like I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta do the work. Like you wonder why your life is shitty, it's because you're fucked up in here. And you can be having a decent life on the outside and being fucked up, but eventually that decent shit is gonna run out. You know? And you're gonna be trying to figure out, like, what the fuck went wrong, or why am I unhappy, or why am I just, why am I that? It's because you haven't done the work. It's because you haven't got to know yourself. It's because you haven't become comfortable with yourself. It's because you're not attracting the people that's really for you. Okay? Fuck. Girl. Just so y'all know, I be drinking juice out of this. This is fucking raspberry lemonade, simply lemonade, okay? I'm not drinking alcohol. Um, okay, this is, this is, I love drinking out of a fucking wine glass. It just adds the oomph to my life, you know? Especially big ones like this. I plan on getting something that's really cute and odd shape for my next apartment. But yeah, like, this goes back to like romanticizing your life. Like, everything in your life should be like, romanticize like be fucking dramatic about your sense of living bitch make your sense of living beautiful and for me one of those things include me drinking fucking juice out of a wine glass so let's not act like we don't understand so yeah like um i think i have a boyfriend oh my god so i went to Rock Steady, where we sh we were trying to start the night at Rock Steady last night. Rock Steady was on some bullshit, and um, I ran into one of my fucking fairies, Tony. So if y'all go to Rock Steady, y'all go and ask for Tony. Okay, period. Um, one thing that came up, he was telling me that he wants to sign up for my coaching, but wasn't sure if it was just for the girls. Like what? I'm the fuck here for everybody. The girls, the gays, the straight boys, um, people in the trans community. Like I don't give a fuck. You're human too, right? Okay, so like what? 
Never, ever, ever, ever think that. Ever think that. Like, oh my God, I love people from every walk of life, okay? So if you, that's been something holding you off from signing up for coaching, bitch. <laughs> bitch, okay? So that's something, that's something. Um, oh, beta coaching slots are open. So what I've decided to do, because, wow, got the most beautiful review from one of my um, beta for a date like a goddess, I believe, yesterday. I'm also loving my new coaching clients. Um, every month there will be five beta slots open. Period. Five date like a goddess beta, five coaching beta, and um five passive income icon beta. Your only requirement with beta, you get it at a discounted cost, and you have to send me a video review. The video review is gonna help me because I'm building out sales funnels and different things for my brands and businesses, and I really want real reviews, okay? I don't want written reviews. I'm gonna have some written ones, but the video reviews are the ones that mean the most to me, and it's also important for me to know, you know, how people feel about the things that I've created to help others. So I really wanted to do that, and I really want to build that up. So um, until I'm satisfied with the amount of video reviews, I will be offering five beta slots per month. So the way I'm going to do this is um, on the fifth of every month, the five slots will open, okay? Um, if something happens and you get on there and you see a link is available, then cool, try it. If not, nine times out of 10, uh, the five will go really quick because every time I post it on Instagram, they go really, 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 really fast. So just marketing your calendar for the fifth. Um, if not, then just know that when beta ends, you will be paying full price for the coaching program, which is more than four figures, but it is important that I let y'all know because Period. Transparency, okay? Um, a big thing I'm always talking to y'all about is your value, knowing your value. I understand that my prices is, 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 is high, and I'm very proud of them. I'm very uh, happy that I've gotten to a place of understanding my worth to the full extent. And um, I have so much to offer the world. I extend myself so much for people, and uh, especially my coaching clients. Like, I really do. So the fact that finally able to do it the way I want to do it and feel good about it and the one thing I was talk talking to my coaching clients about is this era of our life this chapter of our life is about doing the things that make us feel good okay and that made me feel really good knowing that like I can put my all into it because now I'm being paid in the sense of being able to put my all into it and not, and not having to focus on every other thing to make sure every other system is flowing correctly you know so that's one big thing boss boss the boss baby had to level up okay um, but like I said, um, I work really hard with all my projects and I'm so blessed to anybody who decides to sign up, decides to make that investment into themselves and change their life. And I take great pride in playing any part in it. Okay. Um, the next thing. So I'm not sure if you've known me from that chapter of life. Okay. Um, but before I've talked about it before, but when I was 22, I owned a full service wig salon. So the first part was a wig bar it was called the wig bar okay hopefully i can find the fucking logo i don't know but i'm gonna put it here on screen if i can um and basically i would make custom wigs um and i was known for having really 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 good wigs at a very affordable cost um i had clients of every race um i had clients with alopecia i'll put miss kim here on the screen i loved her she would come every two weeks for um a wig and then a touch up and then a new wig and then a touch up like she was a consistent flow so um love miss kim um but yeah so like i would always have um the best wigs and the one thing i am not anymore is a stylist um i had my salon for two years and then the pandemic came and then i met you guys and then my youtube career started moving quite quickly my career as a dating coach started moving quickly i fell into my purpose of like helping people evolve as individuals and create the lifestyles they want and date how they want and increase their glam and their beauty and like that is why the fuck I was ever in the hair salon the conversations me being able to directly transform someone so now that I'm able to do it at such a large scale it's fucking mind-blowing bitch okay and um I'm just so blessed and so grateful and the one thing is people kept asking me Girl, you just may as well bring the wigs back. Girl, you may as well bring the wigs back. Girl, you may as well. And then it's different now because, like I said, I was into this wig shit pre-pandemic. Like, but baby, over the past couple months, I've been testing shit. Matter of fact, this hair in my head, this has no product in it, by the way. These are um four bundles, 24 
24, 24, 22, 20. And I have a leave out. I will put it here on the screen as well so you can see. Um, I've been testing hair for months. Um, uh, body wave, straight. And the last texture that has to be tested is the deep wave. I will only be having um, those three textures. And I honestly only want to have two. Most likely deep wave and body wave because you can do straight the same way you can do body wave. But I might. I don't know. I haven't decided. If anything, it will be those three textures. They will be beginner wigs. They will go up to 30 inches. Um, and they will have two to three days shipping. There will be an option for HD lace on it if you wanted it. Um, and that would, I think, take two more days for customization. So it will ship within three to five days. But either way, we're back and we're popping. And the wig bar is being added back to the factory. So one big thing I want y'all to know about me. I am building an empire. I have been building an empire for a very long time. And now I have full uh, power of every era, every entry of my empire, okay? My goal is to have Dash Beauty Factory as a place where anybody can come and transform. Um, I have been running away from the brick and mortar idea for a long time because I just didn't necessarily want a shop again. But now I kind of want a real life beauty factory. I really want a factory and it's gonna start with a warehouse. And I don't know when the fuck that's gonna happen. How the fuck is gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna remember this moment. I know exactly what the fuck I wanted to look like though. So that's all that matters. Um, and I have a lot of other plans in the background, but the whole point is Dash Beauty Factory is a factory for the bad bitches. It is a factory for the bad bitches. It's a factory where it can teach you how to make some money. The brow charm course is coming, a free eyebrow course. The course that I used to sell for $200 is free. It's gonna be free, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to make six figures doing eyebrows. Six figures, that's $100,000 doing eyebrows, okay? Um, so me and my sister are developing the courses for that. I'm gonna do the major course to teach you how to do everything and she's gonna do lots of mini courses to teach you how to do special skills like ombre brows and different things and different styles on clients. Um, as well as she will help you with color theory and the products and everything along those lines. Um, Brow Charm is officially open and I am now 100% owner of the company. Um, originally when it was launched in 2019, I was partial owner of the company, um, majority owner in that sense, but like I didn't have full control. The customer service wasn't moving at the scale that I would like it to be. The product labeling wasn't the best. Like, so I've spent a while at this point, two years, um, getting everything back in a way that like I would want to do it in the way that I would want to promote it and everything like that. If you scroll down my channel, you will see the videos that have gone viral for the brow henna. Um, service like is a very dope service. It's, it's um a product that you can use on people who have uh alopecia and things and who don't have the hair because it tends to skin as well versus most tint only tinting hairs. So I love it. Um and it made me a lot of fucking money um to the point where I started doing classes back in twenty twenty. And um, I took a class, I don't know if y'all ever heard of Neezy Baby. Uh, she was a microblading, micro shading artist out of Vegas. She flew to Miami and um, I flew from Tallahassee to Miami to take a class with her. And that's how I ever got into the brow world because I had been known for wigs and I wanted to like start doing the brow service. But for me to offer the brow service, I needed to be able to do a temporary brow service to show how fire I was in order to get somebody to sign up for the other service. So. That's where Henna came along, and um, I like partnered with someone to create my own company. So, Brow Charm, I'm now the owner of, and um, also, I think it was last year we were dealing with somebody who was being very fraud. They created a company with the same name as mine and attached my contact information to their brand and was scamming people for eyebrow stencil cases. And I had to go through that several different times with people contacting the helpline of Brow Charm complaining about their money being taken, complaining about never receiving a product, and me having to explain to them that this wasn't me. Somebody is frauding you using my name. So, hey, I guess that's what the fuck happens when you pop in. So either way, I hope that has died down. Um, that business and that website has been reported and only thing I can hope for. But I mean, y'all be feeling like, oh, bitches be coming for me. Somebody stole my ebook. book <laughs> Somebody stole my brand name. And I fuck my pop in, you know? But yeah, so that's that. Um, but yeah, the whole point is like, I'm building a fucking system. You have no reason to not be a fabulous, money-having, glamorous bitch. You have no reason not to attract high value, and I'm not talking about value in just money, value in the divine, okay? You have no reason not to attract divine men 
or if women, divine women into your life after fucking with me, okay? You have no reason not to be in tune with yourself and your own personal development fucking with me. You have no reason not to learn how to make passive income in so many different ways, so many different hustles because I have it set up, okay? Like, everything is coming together. Y'all are watching me piece this shit together, okay? Like, Dash Beauty Factory is, is, is some shit. It's some shit. It's been, it's been in the making for a long ass time and all the pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together and I'm overwhelmed about it, okay? I'm overwhelmed about a lot of shit. I mean, I'm sitting on the floor watching videos on my fucking iPad right now because um, my energy is so chaotic, I'm not fucking sure what else to do with myself, you know? Um, other than that, I'm fucking leaving. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like I said, y'all, if y'all go to Rock State to go see Tony, I loved his fucking energy. I loved his fucking energy. I loved him. He literally was doing everything he could to get me a fucking table in that bitch. And everybody else was being fucking weird. The weird ass waitresses at Rock State, bitch, y'all need to go get y'all some, some money because the energy was weird. And I know why the energy was weird. Tony know why the energy was weird. And it be like that sometimes. But, like, go get you some money, bitch. Okay? Anyway. Fuck! I'm fucking moving in, in 48 hours. I'm leaving my best friend. And that's the worst part. She coming with me though. When we when I move, of course. She we ain't splitting up until like the thirteenth. Um, but oh, 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 my car's gone. My brother came and got my car. I don't know what's going on. I'm finna get off YouTube though. I love you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Next time you see me, well, no, I'm gonna give you another one before I go. Toodaloo.